Okay, um, so in this video, um, I'm going to provide an introduction to uh, ECF 36. So I'm going to talk about logistic issue, about how we plan to run this class, and also about grading and all the information, which is very important for you as student um, in this class. So the first thing I like to talk about the organization of the course, about how we would like to run this course. So as you know that right now we have to move everything to online. And therefore what we plan to do, in fact, that's what we're doing right now, is I will pre-record all the video content and also some of the um, uh, material I will try to provide online for you to access before the class themselves. So the, the reason is obvious because the, given that we have 200 students, if all of you are using internet, squeeze into uh, Zoom, uh, the, the network, the, the video quality and the interaction uh, is going to be very uh, bumpy. And uh, so that's why we try to offload this content to you for you to watch before you come to the class as early as possible. And so we are going to mainly use the uh, regular uh, class time or discussion hour as extended discussion hour such that you have any question regarding the material, the content, the concept, or the homework, and then we can actually uh, provide a, a Zoom session for us to discuss. And also I do want to mention is that, uh, I hope that's okay with everybody, I'm going to record all the Zoom session we have, and such that if somehow you want to replay or you miss some of that, you will be able to catch up with the content. Okay, so, um, and also I feel is is very important for you to uh, leverage the, the class time at discussion because we can provide some kind of step-by-step uh, -step instruction about some of the work is not just a particular student, maybe a group of students, are really unclear about how to get through this part of the uh, homework assignment or this part of content. Okay, so that, that's, that's uh, very uh, important about uh, how we plan, un uh, unless we uh, go back to the campus. Uh, otherwise, we're going to do this organization. Uh, I will continuously provide you all the content events. Okay, and uh, programming. Okay, programming uh, or, or the requirement of the course, we, I currently plan for you to uh, accomplish, uh, finish eight different programming assignments. So I already listed, I already discussed with the TA, and this A programming assignment, they are actually one after the other. I mean, if you look at my uh, video for homework assignment number one, introduction, you will get the sense about how those A homework assignment, they're going to line up. And they're basically from the simplest one to the most complicated one, and they're all related to object-oriented programming. Um, and we haven't exactly decided what we're going to do with the final exam or midterm exam because um, there is concern about conducting an exam uh, when everybody uh, is online and uh, we don't have a, a room for us to gather together to do something. So for, for that, we're thinking um, there is a few options we're considering. Number one option is we will convert one of the programming assignment into a like an online test kind of environment. It means that, oh, you're actually going to modify your program to do something we request on the fly, for example. And Different students will get different assignment and how well you can accomplish. Uh, that is great for that particular assignment, which is equivalent to an online programming test. And the other idea we're considering is that we are going to have the last homework assignment will be some kind of creativity, which we turn that into a more significant project. Because as you can see that the programming assignment get to the later part of your quarter 
it's getting pretty realistic and complicated, but it also means there is some innovation that you can actually develop. So we're going to have a final project and then we're going to have some kind of interactive grading, which means that the student and the instructor or TA, we're actually going to sit down in front of Zoom, of course, and then to talk about your progress. So that's the, the course requirement part about uh, this course. And just want to announce, we have three TA. Uh, they're all, the first name is all Jay, Jerry Wang, Jerry Wang, Joseph Wang, and also Zhang um, Yu, uh, Zhang Song, sorry about that. Yeah, and their information already on the webpage, they're actually already on Facebook. Um, so um, the TA, all three TA and myself will provide uh, office hour um, if, um, if those time uh, don't work for you, uh, we can also make appointment. We want to make sure that you get as much as help as you can. All right. All right. Regarding textbook, I already uh, mentioned in the announcement that we don't have a required textbook. So I provide, I will provide, and some of this is already online. Um, a free C++ textbook and also other material for your reference and also for you to follow up. If there are certain subject uh, you realize you want to read a more comprehensive introduction to that topic you to support your understanding about what we cover in the class. And then I will provide, I already listed a few free textbooks. I will direct you to certain chapter of that textbook for you to read. So it's not for you to try to read the whole textbook, but you kind of being guided by the instructor and the TA to go through that. Okay, for example, not just about C++, you probably need to uh, have some material about JSON, JavaScript, uh, object notation, which is a very important part of this quarter. Okay, um, I do want to mention that the communication in this class is very important. In fact, I believe communication uh, for either online class or regular traditional class, they are so important, especially with programming. Because in programming, um, a lot of this is experience. And okay, I try this and this work, I try this, this doesn't work, and this system have this kind of characteristics. And the thing is that the more communication for you is to gain experience from others who already uh, went through the same process. And sometimes you struggle lots of time trying to see why is this bug is there and such that my program always got the segmentation fault. And, and sometimes you need to take a break and have somebody else look at your program. And by the way, the instructor and the TA are so happy to help you with that. But also I'm a promoter of what we call collaborative learning. And the student, you can also help each other. I think when you help other people to find a bug, they learn something, you also learn something, you reinforce your learning as well. Okay, that's important for uh, the, the collaborative uh, learning part. Okay, the other part I do want to mention regarding the, the syllabus. Um, in this syllabus, I actually have a three track of topics that I'm going to have all three track make progress in parallel, and yet they are related to each other. They are supporting each other. And of course, I talk about uh, the first topic is object-oriented paradigm. That's the key thing about last time I mentioned, um, we need to think about not just as an object-oriented programming language like C++, we're thinking about object-oriented thinking. You think the world from the object-oriented paradigm viewpoint. And then you talk about object-oriented modeling, object-oriented analysis, object-oriented design, and this is a paradigm that's actually we want you to focus. This is in the syllabus, that's very important. But second thing is also very important when you try to realize those ideas in object-oriented paradigm, you have to worry about what kind of programming and system environment you're dealing with. So I, we like to push you to 
concrete example about how those concepts in Objure and the paradigm can be realized in programming environment. That leads to the other part, which we want to design the, um, the homework in such that they mimic the real world scenario. And later you realize that the system we kind of push you to develop and push you to uh, design is some system you're already using every day. And you might think that that system is so complicated, so big, but after you uh, go through uh, the steps of homework that you will um, um, realize that it's not that uh, hard to reach that level of maturity if you can apply the both the object and the paradigms as well as the correct object programming environment to actually get it done. Okay, so that's my introduction about how we're going to organize the course and what kind of requirement we have and also in terms of syllabus, what kind of topic we'd like to cover. So um, tomorrow when we uh, see each other over uh, Zoom, I hope uh, if you have any question, please let me know, okay? All right, good night, everybody.